date the 31st of January. What, was it, what will it be remembered for? Brexit, okay. <laughs> and uh, according to the statistics, you all voted Remain, okay? But anyhow, I'm not saying what I voted, but anyhow, it's, uh, uh, we were told that this was going to be the end of, uh, uh, end of the United Kingdom. It was going to be this, that, and the other, and who knows what's going to happen. But we're still here. And, uh, well, uh, uh, it's interesting, uh, important days in history, and uh, this is what the kids came up with, apparently, uh, important days in our history. And uh, so let's just see what we, uh, we know about our history. What is this? Sorry? 1066, okay? Yeah, William the Conqueror defeats Harold at the Battle of Hastings, 1066. So that was number one as the most important days, uh, according to uh, uh, the kids in school. And, uh, well, it's interesting what they miss out as important days, but that's the second section, okay? Just in case you wonder as we go through this. Uh, what's number two? Uh, number two, the next one. What about this? Magna Carta, okay, the singing of Magna, Magna Carta, uh, 12, uh, 15, okay, and so uh, that was number two, uh, important days in our history. Uh, what about this one? Come on, Priscilla, you should have this one straight away. Okay, it was the plague, Black Death arrives in England, uh, 1346, and uh, well, well over a quarter of the population are believed to have, uh, have died uh, as it swept across the country. And, uh, well, uh, nothing's changed, has it? We've got the coronavirus and uh, so on. And, uh, well, uh, people uh, are wondering about where that's going to go. Well, that was number three. What about this one? Are there any teachers here? No. Okay. All right, well, uh, it's the War of the Roses, 1455, uh, and uh, the two uh, powerful houses of York and Lancaster. And, uh, well, uh, number five, another one, what about this? Cromwell. Cromwell. Put your glasses on and then you'll see that it's uh, William Shakespeare, okay? <laughs> and uh, 1564, okay? And, uh, well, uh, these wouldn't have been my choices, but this is what they teach at school, and this is supposedly what's important, and uh, over a thousand words, apparently, in the English uh, language are used today because of William Shakespeare. And uh, don't remember that. It doesn't, it's not that necessary. Okay, number six. Well, it's Guy Fawkes, 1605, and the gunpowder uh, plot. Uh, and uh, apparently the only person who entered the Houses of Parliament with good intentions, but anyhow, uh, that's what someone said. And uh, there it was, to try and assassinate King James I. All right, number seven. What about this one? The Battle of Waterloo, I think someone said, 1815. And uh, there we go. Uh, that was... Uh, uh, the uh, European nations and the French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte and uh, Battle of Waterloo. Number eight, Queen Victoria becomes Queen in, Queen in 1837 and uh, a whole age that was named after her, such was her impact uh, in uh, those, uh, those times. But then uh, number nine, what about uh, this? Well, there's Churchill, yeah, and it's VE Day, marks the end of uh, Second World, the Second World War, 1945. And, uh, well, uh, important days. And uh, what about this last one, number 10? No? This, no doubt, uh, affects all of our lives, from the youngest to the oldest. Tim Berners-Lee invents the World Wide Web uh, in 1989. It's interesting, uh, we, were, uh, we went on holiday the day of the, I think it was 2012, wasn't it, the Olympic Games, uh, the Friday, and there was the opening ceremony. And they were going through all the years, and uh, it got to the, uh, to the internet, the World Wide Web, and so on, and our boys... Uh, I think uh, Sam was uh, born in 88 and uh, Johnny was born in 1990. And they couldn't believe that before they were born, there was no such thing as an internet and email and all the social media and all the other things. But how this uh, invention has, uh, has totally changed and upset our lives. 
Uh, we don't talk anymore, do we? Okay, we, uh, we're all on these screens and so on. And uh, well, uh, what, a, uh, what a day that changed our life when the internet uh, was available uh, to us. Uh, and who knows whether this last one, uh, whether that one will be a real game changer and, uh, and so on. And uh, well, all the hype around it and uh, whether, whether it be seen as one of those days, uh, the 31st of January 2020. Well, whatever is happening in this world and whatever hap- is happening in our history, there are other days uh, that we're going to look at in my second session uh, that are vitally important to every person in all of the world. And uh, the Bible has much to uh, say about days that are important. And we'll go from the beginning to the end and uh, see uh, what we can learn there. Uh, Don't remember any of that stuff. It's not really that important. But just people who are focusing on this particular day as an important... Well, there are other days to think about. And hopefully we can draw that to our attention in a little while. Lewis. Not Lewis, we don't want him singing. Vivian, sorry, it's over to you. Okay. Receive him and all of your dark. 